السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و رکاتو. All praise be to Almighty Allah, and peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam. I request all of you to recite all the words upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam. Recite Allah musallihada, Allah shafida, Habibina Maulana Muhammad ibadi musallim. Salatu musallamu alaihi ya Rasulullah sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam. Today I am so happy to have got an opportunity to deliver my speech. And I don't have words to express my thanks to my respected teachers who provided me this golden chance. Honorable teachers, dear friends and audience, today my topic is Islam versus other religions. The time is very limited, but I will try my level best. Today Muslims are facing many problems and difficulties everywhere. Muslims are being killed around the world in the name of terrorism. The enemies of Muslims are trying to defend the religion of Islam in the name of terrorism. But, I, but first I want to tell you about the term Islamophobia. What it is? The fear from Muslims is called Islamophobia. And this term started to gain currency after 9-11 attack. But I want to show you that what is the reality of it and what are the real phases of, of other religions. Dear brothers, there are many persons and groups who want to deliver the religion of Islam. In fact, they are not Muslims like Taliban, ISIS and Al-Qaeda. It is the biggest conspiracy to defend the religion of Islam and the Muslims. If Taliban and the other so-called organization were the Muslims, why wouldn't have killed innocent Muslim children and the people? Why would have destroyed the mosque and the madrasas? It is clear that they don't belong to Islam. Islam. Even if they were Muslims, because of what attack can this religion become the religion of terrorism? If it is like this, so I will show you the thousand of examples of other religions. Dear brothers, dear friends, you know very well that what happened during the Second World War. US destroyed Japan. The United States dropped two nuclear atomic bombs over the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki on 6th and 9th August in 1945. What happened there brothers in this war? More than 2 lakh innocent people have been killed. I want to say you, why isn't this utterly written? Let's go ahead and try to know the reality of it. And what do you say about Adolf Hitler? Who was the leader of Germany's Nazi party? And this is a person who was the reason for Second World War. More than 6 million Jews have been killed by Adolf Hitler. What do you say about it? It is not terrorism? And what's your opinion about the man, about the Christian who entered a mosque in New Zealand and shot more than 50 Muslims? Is it not terrorism? Millions of Muslims have been killed by the followers of Christianity. So can I call it a religion of terrorism? And what are your views about the Jews and Israel who are killing and shooting every day Palestinian? The Palestinians have got tired burying their fathers, brothers and the sisters. A large number of men, women and children have been killed by cruel Israel. They destroyed their homes and occupied their lands. It's not terrorism. It's not bleeding of humanity. It is not violation of human rights. How is the Myanmar government treating with Muslims? Many Muslims have been killed brutally by that government. That government forced Muslims to migrate from their country. Their homes were burnt. Many mosques were destroyed by that government and it's all happened. It 
this all happened because the religion of Buddhism. So can I call it a religion, a religion of terrorism? And the one, what does one say about the government of Chinese, which has imprisoned the millions of Yogur Muslims in detention camps and killed many Muslims brutally? Muslim women are what being are being raped by the government forces. And nearly half a million children have been separated from their parents, from their families. Is it not terrorism? In fact, it is terrorism. And we can call it state-sponsored terrorism. My dear friends, you must have realized by now that every religion is promoting terrorism and hatred. But I want to show you that what is the reality of Islam and what are its teachings about humanity. The word Islam gives its own introduction that there is only peace. There is no place of, there is no place and space of hatred and terrorism in Islam. The Almighty Allah says in Holy Quran in verse 5, in chapter 5 and verse 32 and 3, Whoever kills a human being expect in lieu of killing or causing turmoil in the earth, it shall be as he had if he had killed all mankind. And who saved the life of one person, it should be as if he has saved the lives of all mankind. Now our Prophet, peace be upon him, forbade his companions from hurting and mistreating with animals. Our prophet of mercy, our prophet of humanity, didn't allow cutting the green trees. My dear brothers, I want to ask you, when our Islam doesn't permit us, doesn't allow us the heart to hurt animals and the cut cutting green trees, then how can our Islam permit us to kill, to kill innocent men and people, to kill innocent people and children? Whoever kills people in the name of Islam are Muslims. They are in, in, in reality, they are not Muslims. They want to defend, they want to distort, they want to denigrate, denigrate the religion of Islam. And what is the value humanity in Islam? I want to show you by one hadith. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said there was a lady in, in Israel who had a cat. But she, she didn't provide food and water to the cat. Ultimately, the cat died. The prophet of humanity said, Almighty Allah punished that lady and threw her into the hell of fire because she became the reason of killing that cat. It is clear that Islam, Islam is the religion of peace. Islam is the religion of humanity. I conclude my speech from here. Uh, thanks for listening to me. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.